some streaming. Gabriel Knight's son of the father. He's a he's an SMN fathers. How many fathers has he had? Not one, but maybe more than one. We'll find out. Ugh. So I watched the last couple minutes of the VOD uh, from last time, and I think I know what I need to do. I'm a little mad at myself, uh, just a little bit, because we'll see if this is right or not. But basically, the artist said he could help me anytime, and since there's been nothing I can find that I can do. I need to give him, I need to see what he can help me with. So he didn't say anything, I haven't been able to find any dialogue, but since I didn't try and give him everything in my inventory, like he might even be able to help with the snake scale, um, I think that's an issue, is that I did not notice that. Sorry. He's up here. Boy, he walked, this must be like straining programming at the time because look how slow he's walking because there's so much going on they're like oh there's there's animation and all kinds of things <sighs> okay come on swing those hips those jeans are back in those mom jeans all right let's go talk to this guy come on let's go talk to him Yes, you're walking slow because it's 108 and you're wearing the trench coat, Gabriel. Could I ask you some questions? I'd rather not. I, I really get focused when I'm drawing. Really? Okay, fine. You said you could help me. I need to turn up my own personal internal mo like volume because it's a little low. That intro music is so loud that it kind of... Alright. Well... I think we just need to try and give him things in my inventory. And see what he can do with this. What would the artist do with that? I don't know. So... I mean... Uh, let's try the picture. If it's the pictures, I'm going to be even madder at myself. Say, do you think there's anything you can do with these patterns? What do you need? Is there any way you can reconstruct <sighs> the whole pattern from Guys, these Guys, I'm mad at myself. I missed this. This is perfectly hmm. reasonable. Pattern is probably circular, and there's some repetition in the elements. What is this from, anyway? You'd never believe me. Okie dokie. Well, hmm. there's... Hmm. I think there's an area missing. If you could get me any more of these, I'll see what I can do. I think I have some more in my bag, don't I? Okay, let's see. This, right? This one, too. I have another one of those patterns. Really? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. I think there's enough overlap now. I'll give it my best shot. I'll show you what I come up with tomorrow. Great. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. So we did that. That's what I should have done last time, guys. I can't believe I didn't... I just wasn't thinking. I was tired. Was at the end of my... St I'll make all kinds of excuses. The reality is I just didn't get the puzzle. I wasn't getting... I wasn't getting that he's an artist and those are drawings and that he might be able to put them away that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not tired. I'm just yawning for the sake of yawning. Oh, it's getting late. It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. Home sweet home. Ooh. He just leaves his bike out there. He's such a slow walker. Stop wearing so many heavy clothes in this heat and you can walk faster. She's like, I'm getting out of here. I thought they show her leaving, most definitely. Not staying for that mess. Okay. There's fire stuff going on. There's crying. She's turning into a puma. There's that thing. The snake and the dragon. There's blood all over it. There's blood on a sword that became snakes. Is there supposed to be sound during this? Because there's not. Ah! It's less dramatic without sound. Oh boy, someone's hanging. That's awful. 
is that wow well that stinks okay day three boom 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 down to Bacchus's abode I sat there to conspire but it was in the blah 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 blah, blah pyre I don't know what that was Boy, she comes at dawn? That's a dedicated employee. Hopefully he's showered. I'm so glad you could join us today. I've got messages when you want them. He looks mm. like heck. I also checked out Kazanu. There are multiple listings in the white pages. I got the page, but you'll have to figure out the right one. Hmm. Great, thanks. I forgot all about Kazanu. Bum, 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 bum. Your heart is true. You're now, are you going to tell me what happened in the of with Nagi Getty, or <laughs> is it just too embarrassing? Thanks for being a friend, zombie man. Don't tell me you actually got to see her. By the star at tonight. Hey, zombie man. Gabriel, you don't seriously think she's interested? She can have any man in the city, you know. Men with bank accounts? <laughs> you underestimate the Knight family's tragic poet samurai appeal. Samurai. When Daddy married Mom, she was the hottest catch in town. Huh. I always suspected there was something fishy in your family tree. <laughs> but seriously, I think you should be careful. Wow, <laughs> Grace. I'm serious. Whoa. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach about this. It's called jealousy, my dear. And you're right. You should be jealous of Malia Getty. As should every woman on this planet. Whoa. I just... Uh, oh, never mind. I'll just fix these books. Your life is in your own slippery little hands. The point is to get it into somebody else's hands. Gross! And soon. <laughs> Gabriel, you're so gross. Ugh. <laughs> I gotta remember what Kaz news about. I kind of forgot about that. Today's newspaper is on the counter. How are you doing tonight, Zama Man? Alright, let's see. It is not. I guess operate? Oh. Hey, kids. Huh? Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Gabe Pet. I just popped in to see if you're desperate enough to sell me that painting. No. He's so charming, says I'm in. How much would you give me for it? How much would you give me for it, Bruno? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your father's painting. <sighs> if he gives me a hundred dollars for it, then we have enough to get the mask. We looked at this painting thoroughly. Stay out of this, Grace. Oh, you're serious? You let me have it? Yeah, I'll let you have it, all right. How much for the painting? Hmm, well, I could give you a hundred. That's all I can let go at the moment, you know. My fares are so tied up. I don't know if we should have sold this painting. a hundred dollars for your father's painting? Grace, let me deal with this. We need the hundred bucks for the mask. But I don't know if I've thoroughly examined this painting closely enough. I feel like there's clues in there. He only, Bruno only comes in in the mornings. Like, I don't see him any other time. So what if I need that mask for this day of the thing? I'm going to be stuck. Fine, it's yours. Gabriel! Here, here's the hundred. You better take good care of this, Bruno. This is not just another of your hip art pieces, you know. Really? Well, I fully intend to make the most of its display, though not for your sake, I'm sure. 
At least in my shop, there'll be a chance of someone actually seeing it. I feel like you did the I wrong can't thing. Believe I actually got it. Just wait until I show see it. Oh, this is not cool. It was so bad. I don't believe you. It it's just a painting, Grace. There are things I have to do. Oh boy. Look at the bare wall behind there. That wall sure looks bare without Dad's painting. Sorry, game. All right, let's figure out how to uh, look at the paper, too. Times picked a hewn. Dated June 20, 1993. No one says stands anymore. over an uninteresting front page. Under the cultural events section, there's a notice about a lecture oh. on African religions. The lecture is at Tulane University. That's helpful. Gabriel's horoscope for the day. An evil eye is upon you. Change course before it's too late. Batten up. <laughs> we are at 105 of 342, guys. All right, so let's get the info. Did we get that info? Got a hundred dollars. Oops, I don't want to do that. No, I did. I have to talk to her to get the info. I want to hear about the. There's no one in that part of. Let's talk to Grace. Game. He's a ladies' man. Says zombie. Got a minute. Some kind Grace? of ladies. What's up? Okay, request research. Could you do some research? Sure, what? I can't think of it. Okay. I want that information about the... Right. Do you have messages for me? The messages. Your pal mostly called. He left a message that they're interrogating a suspect this morning, and you might want to be there. Oh, nice. Sounds fun. Mm-hmm, I bet. Okay, any more messages? Do you have more messages for me? That man from Germany called again, Wolfgang Ritter. Now he's claiming to be a relative of yours. I took down his number. If you change your mind and want to give him a call back, just ask me for it. Cool. Do you have more messages for me? I've given everything to you. Okay. Well. Thank you for the follow. Oops, I hit something wrong here. Thank you so much! We're super close to 400 follows, guys, and my super fun special stream I do with embarrassing stories, pictures, quizzes, songs, and the like. Alright, um, I want the phone number, but I still don't know... Where's the information about... Alright, let's ask for Can I get that phone number for Wolfgang Ritter? Sure, I'll give it to you when we're done talking. Perfect. Alright. Where's the thing we we'll ask about the, uh, I can't remember what she said now. Here's that phone number. Thanks. If I do this, will she just give me... No, I'm just gonna... So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics, for one thing. These books are unbelievable. <laughs> what can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. Negative numbers don't the exist. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. Hey, Ashton Katan. You love point-and-click games? So excited to find your stream. I never got to play the Gabriel Knight series. This is my first playthrough, so I'm super excited. But as you can see from my beat games, like, I love point-and-click adventures. Um, I've played a lot of different kinds, and I'm going to play some more, so that's cool. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's go back here, and we're going to call this guy from Germany who keeps bugging us. At Giant Discount Bookstore, we discount every title 50%. Thanks, game. But guess what? The big guys are out of business too because of the internets. Hey! Hey, CP. This is one of my favorite games ever. Story, voice acting, and music all are amazing. Yeah, the voice acting is. Story far, so far is great. The You're voice acting is amazing. KLED in New Orleans, where we play the best music 24 hours a day. I didn't realize we had to turn this off. Let's turn this off right now. Um, 
Yeah. This was sold as, like, not an adult game, but, like, a game for older teens and adults. You can tell by the cover, which is a picture of a man hanging himself. So, there you go. Yeah, there's a lot of... Which the voice actors pull off really well. And the plot... I came... I started off with... Um, not started off, but the game before this, Torrin's Passage, which is another Sierra game. And then when I finished that, I started into this game. And the, the, the difference in quality is super measurable, especially with the voice actors. All right, let's call somebody. Let's call this Ritter guy and see what he has to say. And then I have to figure out how to get info out of, okay, on. Do I really have to dial the, oh, come on, game. Okay, first I have to look at the number. Come on. Really? Okay, um, can I just, well, can I just use it on the phone? It's customary to pick it up first. All right, well, let's look at this. Bum, bum, bum. Wolfgang Ritter's phone number, written in Grace's pretty scrawl. Okay, let's read it. The number written on the note is 3 Tree. There you go. <laughs> oh, you found me through Torrance Passage. You love the game as a kid? It was a fun game, but you can definitely tell they cut the budget at some point because the ending was super abrupt. Some of the puzzles I loved and some of them felt half-baked. And there's some really good jokes in there. Oh, there is some there is some sort of updated version. I know um, they did it for iPad and iPhone, which I hope actually does well because I think point and clicks are kind of made for that format in that... It's not a lot of really speedy stuff that you have to do. Uh, the original art author came back and added some additional scenes, but I've heard other people say it's not as good because the voice acting is not as good. And um, the puzzles they added were like, some of them were like slide puzzles, which a lot of people don't like, but I haven't played it myself. So, oh, sorry, you should not be yawning. So I couldn't tell you how I felt about it, but without the voice actors, it definitely wouldn't be the same. Four, nine, Oh, oh, I didn't turn it on, guys. Dang it, man. I've forgotten how to use a regular phone. Four, nine, oh, nine, three, two, four, three, and that's four threes. Guten Tag, Sie haben Schloss Ritter erreicht? Oh. I'm looking for Wolfgang Ritter. Wow. Ja, einen Moment. Yeah, is this Gabriel on the phone? This is Gabriel Knight. Why are you calling me, Mr. Okay. Ritter? Okay. I have been having premonitions of great danger for you, Gabriel. You must leave New Orleans this very day. What the hell are you talking about? It is hard to explain on the phone. I have had senses, uh, feelings about you. I it took me a long time to have you tracked down. I had a sense that Heinz had a grandson, but... Until these dreams started, I did not know if I should contact you. Probably shouldn't. You say you're related to my grandfather? Yes. Heinz was my brother. There is much about the family that you should know, Gabriel. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittersberg, West Germany. It is our family home. Schloss I will tell you Ritter. everything when you come. You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Look, I appreciate the family spirit and all, but frankly, I don't know you from Adam, and I'm not going to fly off to Germany, even if I could afford it. Gabriel, please, if you won't listen, at least let me send you something. It is a journal from one of your ancestors. Promise me you will read it. Okay. Well, I'm pretty busy. Please, Gabriel, you please. are the last of our line. I am too old please to carry on. Sure. You are our last hope. Please, for your family, read the journal. Okay. All right, I'll look at it. Good. Now be careful and come to me as soon as you can. Goodbye. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Ashen says, I think it was gray matter that had a rotary phone dial. And I struggled with it for a second before I remembered how to turn them since I haven't used one in ages. Yeah, it's a weird feeling to be like, oh, yeah. Nice to use this. Okay. I want that thing about, I think it's, 
a lake or something else. I had her look up the other murder site. <laughs> the title is Sins of the Fathers. Maybe we don't want to read our ancestor journals. Well, we already know it looks like it involved um, burning a woman to death because that's all he has his dreams about. All right, so how do I get that other information from her? The letter is addressed to Heinz Ritter. Okay. Let's get out of here. All right. So let me look at the tapes real quick with, where are you, Grace? Uh, research. Could you do some research for me? I can't. Okay. Could you? I can't. Oh, gosh. Okay. Could you? I can't. 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 Okay. Could you? Could you? Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. Oh, okay. just. Mm-hmm. Anything else? I can't. Okay. Could you do? I can't think. I mean, okay. How many times Could do you we do ask some her? Worse? I need you to look up a Madame Casanu. Oh, Madame Casanu. Okay, yes. That's the lady that was at the store Madame asking Kaznew? about. Madame Casanu? Is she related to the murders the same way you're f Christ. As if that makes okay. anything else? So she said she found Casanu's that she's going to, ha we're going to have to narrow it down. Okay. Because I couldn't remember what Casanu. I'm like, is that a lake? What is that? I'm like, oh, it's that old lady. So can we take anything from Grace? Like I haven't tried. Oh, don't be rude. Gabriel doesn't need anything on that part. It's certainly like. Ugh. All right, so I guess we don't get that. I guess we have to figure out a different way to get that information from her that she found. We have a hundred dollars now. We can buy a um, alligator mask, so that should be good. I'll be back later. He runs his hands through his hair. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Dixieland Drugstore. Ooh, look at this little FMV scene. Look at his cool motorcycle. Hi. Uh -huh. Alright, I am buying this thing. This is the only thing this hundred dollars could possibly be for. I have a hundred dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's a hundred dollars, sure enough. The mask, it's yours, sir. It is ours now. I wonder if the scales match. Here you go. Carefully don't bite you now. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, thanks. Bum, bum. Don't you go forgetting your lagging up. A free bottle of Master Gambling Oil. The Thanks. sign said I could get Lady Luck Oil instead. Well, I wasn't thinking a man as young as you would be needing that kind of remedy. <laughs> but if you having problems with your... Oh, that's all right. Believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> of course, it ain't none of my business if you do need it. <laughs> I don't need it. Of course you don't. Okay, so you have gambling oil. All right. I don't know if that's effective or not. We'll see. Okay, so we did that. Let's go back. I want to see how are we going to get that. In we need to figure out. Okay, oh, getting a state, Tulane University. Also, the, the police officer they're doing. Let's go to the PD first because they're. they're um, Targeting a, uh, a suspect. Bum bum. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? It's Grumpy Winnie the Pooh. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. All right, go ahead. There we go, Gabriel. That tr that jacket's his trench coat's made of leather. It's gonna smell so bad in New Orleans. It's gotta be like a thousand degrees. Oh, who are we interrogating? Glad you made it. It'll give you a feel for how I am in action. You know, handling suspects, that sort of thing. Oh, I'm gosh. sure it'll be invigorating. <laughs> uh, who is this guy anyway? calls himself Crash. He's been an informant for us before, hmm. mostly helping us bust small-time pimps and dealers trying to break into the territory. 
Well, he's been staying invisible during these murders, but we picked him up this morning to Jackson Square. Pushing coke? Hmm. He knows something. Call it Detective's Instinct. Detective's Instinct. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right, Crash. I want to hear about these murders. You been present at the so-called voodoo ritual? Hmm. I don't know nothing. I told you. Come on now, you can tell me. Do you know anyone who's been to these rituals? Uh oh. Look, I, I can't say nothing. You gotta let me go, man. Hey, you relax. No one knows you're here. The man who picked you up were plain clothesmen. Plain clothes? Like you could fool them. <laughs> they know I'm here. They've got ears all over the city. They know everything. Now, okay. who are they, Crash? Uh -oh. Are they the ones doing the murders? Let me go! If you're so worried about being detained, start talking. Now you tell me what I want to hear, and maybe I can get you in the witness protection program. But you have to earn it. Witness protection? Are you crazy? Don't make me laugh. Jesus, just let me out of here. Whoa. Now come on, who's behind these murders, Crash? Why are the victims all members of the underworld? But now they know I'm here. I mean, it's it's different when I'm supposed to come here. Well, if I can send a message, tell him I didn't say nothing. Christ, he's freaking useless. Take him back to detain him, would you, Tony? Man, he's terrified of him. I tell you, times like this, I'd kill for true serve and damn the civil rights. Can I quote you on that? Huh? Hell no. Damn! We only keep him for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, I might have to let him go. Mm -mm. Sorry it wasn't more exciting. Yeah, for the book, I mean. Maybe you can punch it up some. You know, what do they call that? Fiction. That's it. It certainly is. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay, so... What was that? Brief music. All right, what can we ask him about? What's the? Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Case status. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? The British accent comes. It with sure as hell ain't going status. well. There's a lot of breaks being applied in different areas of the investigation. We're getting some real info on the victims now, and they're not exactly upstanding citizens. Hmm. I was hoping to get more out of Crash, but he's scared shitless. We'll have to let him go tomorrow morning. Alright. Hmm. Is there anything else we can do? You been feeling okay lately? You look like hell. Me? Ah, uh, you know, I can't sleep at night, what with thinking about the case and thinking about Annie. I can relate. The music? Uh, y yes, it's a little bit too loud. I have it on, but I have it on low. There we go. I had it on a little too low. Because it's, the problem is increasing volume really quickly and just drowns everything out. I don't know why. There's the background, you can hear it now, it's a little low. Okay, um, hmm. So there's nothing we, nothing we can really, I guess we're just gonna go. I mean, I kind of want to talk to that kid on my own, but I don't think he's I'm gonna, gonna hit the road. Have a good one. I don't think he's, I don't think, well, there was no way to ask him to do that. Can I ask you a few questions, ma'am? I'm sorry, sir, but I really have to finish these reports. Same thing as yesterday, huh? You really finish Gabriel those should go to the counter to talk to the uh, desk sergeant. Let's go around. Fine. All right, come on, buddy. Can I bother you again, officer? <sighs> officer Franks is tired is of Gabriel's against. Sure. 
<laughs> oh, I wanted to ask him about... <sighs> Never mind. I wanted to ask him about the prisoner, but I, apparently I can't. Alright, let's go check and see if the artist has a finished painting thing done of our... the stuff we gave him. Bump, 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 bump. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's talk to this guy and see what he says. That same drummer is still there. The artist is an able draftsman. Oh, come on. How's it going today? What? Oh, it's only you. Man, I have been jumpy all day. That that pattern of yours really freaked me out for some reason. There's just something creepy. You it's finished creepy. it? Yeah, and you're welcome to it. Here. Wow, this is great. Uh-huh. Just don't, like, blow up the planet with it or something, okay? I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, forget it. I'm probably just being stupid. Do your thing with it and good luck. Does he know what our thing is? We're that we're an author with delusions of grandeur? Because he th seems to think we're we know what we're doing here. What oh What's going on here? Madame Lorelei, the fortune teller. Is garbed in a belly dancer's outfit and wears a boa <laughs> around her neck. A real boa. Not just a feather boa. Freaky pattern, Armageddon pattern, blow up the planet! Says Lazy Panda. Alright, let's go talk to her. Come on, boys! Hoopla! Alright, alright, let me, I, I wanna. I wanna go see that boa. Whoa! Oh, I can do some. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Why do that? All right, we need to go investigate the booth. Go over here. Creepy screen thing. The booth is a colorful melange. It announces the the owner is current. Applying a different sort of wares. Okay, can we open it up? Gabriel doesn't want to take that. Just operate it. Where's the? Dang it! We missed our opportunity. Thanks, boys. We're never gonna figure out if this is the same boa. Could I ask you a few questions, Madame Lorelai? The only answers I give are given in my reading. I'm sure your palm would be quite interesting. Mm-hmm. Come on, boys. Hoopla. Oh, my gosh. All right, so... She's into hoopla. Okay. All right, can we... All right, so can we... Madame Lorelei would not. I just want to look in the booth. The booth is a. The owner is. Okay, how do we, get, do we open the door into the booth? Gabriel cannot open. There is nothing to open. Ugh. We need to. We need to, um. Why do that to the boot? Why do that? We need that boa. That's why. We need that boa game. How do we get the boa? Gabriel doesn't want to take. Look at the boa. Boa. Can we use? Would it help to use like this on it? Why do that to the? Because Why I'm do trying that? to find the boa. Ah, it's too late. Need a better, better distraction. Maybe I can't Thanks, get in there. Boy. though. It's not that she's telling me no. It's that I can't get in there. Does this mean anything to you? No. Does this price list mean anything to you? Can we... Hmm... Using that on the no, sidewalk don't. would be... Uh, 
Don't give her anything more. We need to look at the boa Come to, on, boys. to see Hoopla. if the... Uh, where is she putting that boa? She's like... Putting it like in the desk. I don't understand. Madam Laura La Madam La Madam La Alright then what button is it? April doesn't want it. Okay. April does oh. April does The booth is a cut okay. the owner is currently Fine, we're gonna go over here for now. Oh so now I know I need to get the boa from her, or at least figure out what its scales look like. Thanks, boys. The bow is hiding in the mythical hammer space. Oh gosh, who's this guy? Oh, I've seen him before. What's the hot dog guy? Can we talk to him? We want another hot dog. We paid him twenty dollars yesterday. He can give us another hot dog. That's all I got to say. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yep, yeah, I mind. All right. What? I mind. Because A, I don't know anything, and B, I'm busy. Oh. Okay. That's it. Anything unusual about his cart? A lucky dog. Same cart. Alright, let's go. We got other stuff to do. I mean, I don't know what, but we gotta. I wanna look up Mrs. Kazanu. <laughs> $20 for a hot dog, and you're not even a sports stadium. That was the price of him. Doing something. Okay, so let's go to the polling house. We haven't been there yet. We're gonna check out the. Oh, we need to go to the university. Same people as yesterday. Let's talk. Sorry to bother you, but could I ask you if you? I'm not that chatty. No, you. Okay. It's hot. Uh... All right. All right. All right. So, same people as yesterday. I forgot we need to go to Tulane University. Tulane! Alright, here we go. Fine day for motorcycle ride. It looks like the lecture is just starting. Gabriel decides to record the session. Thanks, Voodoo Gabe. is the tribal religion of Africa. But the name, Voodoo, is actually a banner heading under which resides an entire body of distinct tribal belief systems. Okay. Ooh, the word Voodoo may sound familiar to you. What is known in the States as Voodoo is actually an amalgamation of African religious systems, Voodoo, and European religions, primarily Catholicism. All of the subcults of African Voodoo have certain things in common. The most important is the worship of a pantheon of spirits instead of the single deity that the Christian and Muslim systems have. Some of these spirits are elementals. Some relate to specific tasks or places. Some represent mm. important tribal leaders who have died. This spirit worship is what makes Voodoo so easily adaptable. With all those spirits, it's no problem to add a few more. Say, for example, the Virgin Mary. At the height of tribal Africa, Warfare was common. The one tribe would conquer another, and the Loa, important in the conqueror's tribal system, would be adopted readily into the conquered tribe's Loa pantheon. Hmm. In this way, many of the Voodoo cults spread and mingled throughout tribal Africa, enriching the belief system and causing innumerable offshoots. Okay. The basis for the Voodoo religion seems to be as old as man himself. It has much in common with many early pagan practices. Animal totems, hmm. sympathetic magic, elemental spirits in the trees, the heavens, the bodies of the sick. Africa is believed by many to be the cradle of the human race. Some of the Voodoo Loa may be as old as the Garden of Eden itself. We so still can't learning. explain some of the real power of Only these Only a little bit of this will be helpful for us. And note, I said primal, not Primitive. 
There are African Bokors who baffle our scientists with their supernatural powers. Now, let's discuss the elements of Voodoo. <sighs> Fascinating guy. In Voodoo, the spirits are called the Loa. During a Voodoo ceremony, celebrants are possessed by the Loa. And this is called being ridden. The human worshiper is seen as a horse, and the Loa as the divine horseman. A person being ridden by a Loa takes on the characteristics of that spirit and becomes, <laughs> in effect, Hi, real merely a vessel for the more powerful it's entity. It's okay, you didn't miss too much. Good to Some see of you. the older, original Africa Loa include Dambala, the great serpent god, his ruler, the mistress of love, Papa Nebo, or Gede, the lord of death, Gede, Agwe. The spirit of war. And that lady's last name was Getty. Legba, spirit of the crossroads. Ooh. And the cruelest and most dangerous, Ogun Badagri, the Lord of Destruction. Ugh. Ugh. I gotta get more sleep at night. Stop yawning, Gabriel. Uh, Find that all specific Loa can have as much or more power as the more widely worshipped Loa. For instance, a particular tribe might revere highly the Loa of an ancestor who was a legendary hunter or politician. Voodoo temples are called Houndfors. Their priests, Hangun or Bokors. Their priestesses, Mama Loa. In a Voodoo Houndfors, there's, there's a ritual circle marked name. by a center pole called a Potomitan. Oh. The ritual circle is prepared with a veve, a pattern of symbols. We're going to look at our paper before in we Each tribe's veve is slightly different, consisting of complex symbols that identify their special loa. Hmm. During ritual conclaves, uh, initiates dance under the supervision of a bokor and a mama loa, or head priestess. The use of totems or animal masks and markings was not uncommon in the original African ceremonies. Now, though, all but the oldest sects have abandoned this practice. Yeah, we got to ID that special loa. Ritual that. objects used during the conclaves include the ritual gourd or ason, We've the seen ritual that knife. knife or kubasa. In our dreams. That knife gives me the chills. The Ritual Whip, or Fwet Kash. And the Ritual Coffin, or mm. Seke Madule. We saw that in These the, items are often the optional, called for by the Mama Loa for specific magical rituals. The Mama Loa is the most powerful figure in any Voodoo sect. Voodoo is a truly matriarchal system. Even the Bokor knows his power is limited. The Mama Loa is the supreme woman. She butterflies. Fireflies. Oh, stop. Don't go to sleep, Gabe. Animal masks, old sex, that knife. We must discover. Uh, the firelight. No, Interactive hand rice. Yeah, I thought it was a little Gabriel? extreme. Rosine. Mm, what? I can't see. Gabriel. Get in! Yeah, it's too small for me. Hey, Zoom! You must get in, Gabriel. It's not mine. Too small. Hide, Gabriel. Hide! No! No! Let me out! Help! Young man, the lecture is over. It's being thrown oh my in God, a tiny coffin. Sorry. Thrown <laughs> into a tiny coffin. That is terrifying. Yeah, that knife, it looks just ceremonial. Oh my goodness. That was a crazy dream. There's a PA speak. The podium. He's been having some interesting dreams lately. What's in here? Gabriel does not need to enter the projection book. Are you sure? Hmm. Can we go in that door? Yes, we can. Are you Ooh. a student? No. My name is Nye. <laughs> this is a pretty terrifying Nye. office. Well, you have walked into my private office, Mr. Knight. I hope you have something worthwhile to do here. 
If you figure it out, let me know. Boy, so grumpy. Right, let's look at what's going on here. An old globe. Dr. Hartridge's office is crowded with masks, carved figures, and strange objects. What's this? Exotic fish lend even more color to the cluttered it's office. Got space for exotic fish? Man. Dr. Hartridge's office. Nothing in particular. It's hard to. File cabinet. All right, let's look at this paper we got. At least let's, well, I should look at it. Where is it at? The reconstructed Veve mm. was done for Gabriel by a technical artist. Okay, so let's give this to him and see what he says. <laughs> Can you tell me anything it's very about true, this Panda. pattern? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Mind if I copy this? Be my guest. Great. I'll be right back. He's not coming back, is he? Here you go. You know, this is a fascinating baby. You must tell me all about its origin. Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me. Can you figure out anything about it from the symbols? Well, some. That's why I wanted a copy. I want to research the design myself. Each of the symbols in the Veve represent something, a loa, a place. Where did you get this? Oops. Have you heard of the voodoo murders? Damn. No, you're kidding. Really? Then the voodoo is authentic. The newspapers are wrong. Boy, are they wrong. You think this Veve uh -huh. is authentic then? Authentic? Mr. Knight, that's like asking if the Mona Lisa is a painting. Is it Tell a painting? You what, I mean, no, it's a painting. I'll uh, look into these symbols myself and see what I can learn about the sect that made this. I'll give you a call when I have more information. Uh, you are associated with the police, aren't you? Absolutely. But I'm, uh, undercover. You can contact me <laughs> at the St. George's liar. Bookshop in the quarter. I'm a big-time right. liar. Now, I'd like to get started on this, if you don't mind. Can we, talk to you? we can't talk to you anything now? I should have talked to you first. Can I talk? Ask and you? if I pick your brain? Not if it will get you out of my office. Oh, good. Okay, well, we're going to look at all this stuff we can ask. <laughs> this is an interesting look they gave him. What can you tell me about voodoo? You already sat through my lecture on the subject, Mr. Knight. Perhaps next time you could stay awake and learn something. Man, he's a sassy... Professor. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Let me get learn something. Hmm, just what I read in the papers until you showed me that baby. I wasn't interested before, but now... Yes, I'd like to figure out where these people come from and what they're up to. Hmm. They are obviously some very frightening and deadly serious voodoo. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I find it interesting to see the occasional fragment of voodoo practices in the everyday culture of New Orleans. Okay. That's sass. Yes. Alright, snakes. Do you know anything about snakes? I'm not a zoologist, Mr. Knights, but I know all I care to about reptiles. Reptiles? Not reptiles? Interesting. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? It's June 23rd, the feast day of St. John the Baptist. The June 23rd has been a sacred day since the earliest times. Ancient sun worshippers used to roll a flaming wheel down a hill to celebrate the sun's descent on that day. A burning wheel? Huh. Hmm. All right. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Gaur oh, means? Oh boy, they're going to tell Cabri Saint Cor. Yes, I do. It's a Haitian term, I it's believe. It's a Haitian term. It's French. And literally translates as goat without horns. As in a female goat? <laughs> no. As in a human sacrifice. Uh... Sacrifices in voodoo are usually the animal so The guy said we were human sacrifice? Chickens, bulls, goats. If the gods demand a goat without horns, it means a human being. Hmm. That's what he meant when he was talking about the murders. That guy at the shop, he said a goat without horns. Okay, let's ask about Marie Laveau. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? 
While I find the colloquial bastardizations of voodoo somewhat interesting from a surely intellectual point of view, there's not a lot of relation between people like Lavo and true voodoo practices. Okay. Animal masks. Do you know anything about animal masks? I As I said in my lecture, which I really assume it. you actually listen to, is that animal masks totems are used extensively in most African voodoo religions. We thought you could tell something more too, dude. Alright, what's the baby? Can you tell me anything about that veve I showed you? I told you I would research it, Mr. Knight. When I have anything concrete, I'll let you know. Okay, Grumpy. Have you ever heard of a Shutton Jaeger? I'm afraid I can't help you there, Mr. Knight. <laughs> He's like, I've heard of a Jaegermeister. Tell me about yourself. All right, Mr. Knight, I'm 35. 35? A fully tenured he professor like at this university, 56. as well as a fellow at Cambridge. Now, what do you think a 35-year-old My doctorate looks was like? obtained at Syracuse. Yes, Syracuse, in religious studies. Syracuse? I'm an agnostic, but I find human belief systems fascinating. Why did he have to say that twice? I specialize like he didn't know in what he was African religions because I grew up there. My father was a Protestant missionary. And I am heterosexual when I practice sex at all, which isn't very often. Any other questions? <laughs> we uh, didn't, no. We didn't ask Why? about your, your sexuality, dude. You offered that up. <laughs> yeah, Doc has an age well for 35. Not, is he lying? He looks like 20 years older. He looks like 55. How much hard living did he do? <sighs> wow. Man. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just shocked. I'm just slightly shocked. Alright, let's ask about human sacrifice. Tell me more about human sacrifice. It's uh, very rare. Most Voodoo practices do not include human sacrifice as a matter of record, but it is theoretically possible if that's the gods demand. For example, one of the chants I had translated for me from a Haitian ritual went like this. Mistress Azuli, come and aid us. If a cock is demanded, we will give it. If a bull will suffice, behold it. But if a goat without horns is required for sacrifice, oh where? Will we find one? Azuli is the gentlest of Loa, so they call on her for mercy. But I have seen grown and powerful Hungan tremble before a possession by one of the more violent Loa, such as Apanibo. Clearly, they are afraid that something of the sort will be ordered, or that the Loa will simply take it for themselves. Hmm. All right. Anything else in here that looks... That mask. Can we open this? The filing cabinet does not operate. Can we open it? It looks heavy. <sighs> is there anything... Dr. Hartridge. Okay, so is there anything in here in particular? Dr. Hart. Did you know there's a whole branch of archaeology devoted to garbage? Maybe you should look into it. Hey, Morton. Hmm? Dr. Hartridge's up. All right. I don't see anything else. Gabriel doesn't need to do that. Just get out then. Hey, Morton. Yeah, more Gabriel Knight. You just made a lot of progress. Okay, I'm really excited. Okay, thanks. Oh, do keep in touch. Oh, well, I will, I guess. Boom. Well, actually, let's look at this because this is interesting. There's a bunch of papers up there. I'd like to see what they say. Gabriel scans the bulletin board. Greek night at the Alpha Psi Omega Frat House. It looks like it took place sometime last spring. <laughs> Gabriel scans the bulletin board. There's, more than that there. There's a notice for a lecture on investigative reporting <laughs> techniques to be given by Octogenarian Pulitzer Prize winner Laura Bo Dorian. Oh, so Unfortunately, great. it's weeks away, but at time <laughs> Gabriel will have to have learned on his own. <laughs> oh, Laura Bo Dorian, that's so great. I went to Tulane. Gabriel scans the bulletin board. Need a ride to LA the last weekend in August. I wouldn't go there if you paid me. Gabriel scans the bulletin board. Said. 
work out of your home and make up to 2000 a week in your spare time. Gosh. Call 555-6789. Why have none I actually of those called them scams once. ever changed? You sell cat food over the phone. None of those Gabriel have changed. Gabriel scans the bulletin board. Over 25 Cut. years. We'll do algebra or biology homework for food. Take it all. Gabriel scans the bulletin Make sure board. Make five. Jazz jam session every Tuesday at 7 in the music building. Okay, I think I got them all. So nothing that's relevant to what we're asking. I thought maybe we'd see like... Voodoo history. Alright, so... See, like, the last scene's Getty that's really suspicious to me. Alright, um... So that's super exciting. I want to get this information from... Uh, Grace. Hello, beautiful. It's me. Oh, joy. Alright, can I... I want to ask her for that. She got that stuff out of the, out of the, um... So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics for what- What can okay. I- this We already did this. Where's the information where you looked up the lady and I need it Got now? a minute, Grace? What's up? I want my information... Hmm... Could you do- Sure. Ah, oh, the pattern I need you to research. I have a pattern I need you to research. How interesting. What is it? It's a reconstruction of the tracings they found around the murder victims. The ones done in flour and blood. Mm. Ugh. You shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. Who knows Braces what me, these guys. symbols mean? <laughs> well, wear your evil banishing gloves if you want. But check it out for me, would you? I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Okay. Where's the information on the, um... Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. She didn't give that to me and I just don't see it in my inventory, right? Do I need to give her the pattern or does she... Do you know anything about this? I did research for you on that already, Gabriel. Uh, right. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. She's not done with it, though, I don't think. What's this here? Somewhere there's a New Orleans uh, phone book missing this is one, one of its C okay, pages. Oh, good. This is what it is. Casanu, Casanu B, Casanu, Casanu A, Casanu S. Cajun Critters Veterinary Clinic, specializing in canine care. Look, oh my gosh, the thing looks like a werewolf. What are they doing? Come on. I was like... <laughs> Alright, anyway. So there's three. Let me see if I can remember... Do I have a tape with her information on it? Right, where's the guy? Here's Willie. Madame Casanu. That customer of yours, the little old lady. Customer? The woman I saw in here. Madame Casanu, you called her. <laughs> Jen Ware. <laughs> I don't talk about... It's important that I talk to Madame... Okay. okay. Alright, we're gonna have to go back here and call her, too. There we go. We're getting stuff done, guys. We're getting stuff done. Alright, so... Let's... I'm gonna type the numbers. In. Somewhere there's a new audience for... I gotta hit the read thing instead of just the look at. I don't know why. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. I guess she'll die. Well, let's start with... Five, five, five... Three, oh... Eight, eight. Five 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 one two seven oh five 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 one two eight oh five 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 one two three seven 
gonna take it. That's a seven, right? Five, five, five. All right, there should be four. Okay, I'm gonna start with the last one. Um, just knowing this game. Let's operate that phone. Five, oh, on. five, five, five. One, two, three, seven. Hello, Robert. Uh, no, it's not Robert. Then get off the phone. In the days before call waiting. All right, so it's not the last one. Let's try the first one. Five, five, three, oh, eight, eight. Planny's Pizza, may I take your order? Uh, wrong number, I guess. Jeez. You know what's so funny? I keep thinking I have to hit send, and it's not a cell phone, guys. You don't have to hit send. You just have to type the complete number in. Five, five, five. One, two, seven. Ah, it's not on. Five, five, five. One, two, seven. Oh. Hello. Hi. Is this the Kazunu residence? Yes. What can I do for you? Do you or does anyone in your family patronize the Dixieland drugstore? I'm a busy man. What are you selling? Nothing. Them early Good. 1980s tech. Goodbye. All right. Well, we're going to assume it's not them. Let's go in. All right. So it's got to be. Oh, they're diabolical. It's got to be the third one. One, five, five, five. One, two, eight, oh. Hello? Hello? I'm calling from the Dixieland Drugstore. We have an order for you. Castro, be quiet. Who is this? I'm a friend of the owner. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, we need to try something else. So that one was, I mean, let's look at it. I think that's her. Let's look. So... Doesn't, it should give the address if it's Cavan Cavanu A. It should give the address, but it does not. All right, let's go. All right, let's see if we can give her this page and say we think it's Cavanaugh. A. Do you know anything about this? Sure. I'm the one that gave that to you, remember? Yeah, I know. I, uh... Let's try again. Can we call her again? Because that was bad. The whole way we approached that was just bad, guys. Just bad. Five, five, five. One, two, eight, oh. Yes. Hi. I called earlier about your drugstore order. Harsh Castro! I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. Castro is the name of her dog. Try again. We're gonna keep bugging her. We're gonna harass her, I guess. Because we found her name in a phone book. Now she's on the phone. Five, five, five. E-O. Yeah, she must have named her dog after... Okay, so now she's pull She's like, I'm done with you. Yeah, she must have named her dog after the, uh... After Fidel Castro. I don't know why. Check out I'm going the, out. Don't hurry back on my account. We're also going to check out the uh, St. Louis Cemetery number one. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> Why? All right, let's look at this. Does it look new? Is there anything changed about it? The voodoo code message is still on the wall. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. What is this here? I don't even know what this is. The small bottle is labeled. Oh, it's the gambling oil. Okay. 
Hmm. We still don't know what to do with that. Anything else we can ask him? Could I have a minute of your time? You got something to say, son? Sure. Mind if I pick your brain a minute? Go ahead. These folks ain't in no hurry. I guess not. I already found out what that means. Um, Vive. Do you know anything about Veves? I don't know what you talking about. Nope. Okay, so no new stuff. Hmm. I was hoping there'd be a new message on the wall. But there's not. Hmm. That's us. Demarco. These are grands, folks. Hmm. What the crap? <gasps> okay. Hi! Malia. Mr. Knight, what are you doing here? They hang out in uh, graveyards. My family's tomb is here. Mine too. I noticed. Subtle. Well, Mr. Knight, if there's nothing else. Don't go. I need to she talk to you. She just grabbed her arms. That's Whatever salt. for. Get out I of can't her. stop thinking about you. I've been in your thoughts, too. I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Knight, you don't know anything about me. I'm not in a position to get involved. I've like said that a million like times myself, but this is different. I think we both know we can't fight it. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is awful. I have so many obligations. My family is very traditional. You wouldn't understand. Hey, I love tradition. I've seen Fiddler on the Roof a hundred times. Yeah. This isn't a musical, Mr. Knight. We live in different worlds. Look, really? I know you've got more money this than conversation. God. Do you think I care? Do you think that's why I'm saying this? No, I don't. Why don't you come see my world? I have a little bookshop, St. Wow. George's on Bourbon. I know. See, I knew it. You're crazy <laughs> he about me her too. Arms in a very come back tonight, way. please. My world isn't so bad. I'm sorry. My bedroom's disgusting. But there's but... no place for someone like you in my life. Not now. Not ever. Damn it. Well, you kept grabbing her upper arms and practically shaking her. Bad romance subplot. <laughs> well, you know... <sighs> There's a small marble plate near the tomb doors. Can we go out that way? Gabriel's done all... Gabriel's done all the begging he can master at the moment. Molly will have to yeah, work this did. out on her own. He did really want to seduce her. I mean, he does want to seduce most women he knows, but he specifically wanted to seduce her. The plate is locked in position. We don't have a There's key. a keyhole on the plate. But Gabriel can't operate that without a key. Hello, supermodels. <laughs> I guess she's pretty good looking. The biggest thing is just how, like, weirdly aggressive, like, I think grabbing someone by the upper arms when you barely know them is pretty terrifying, actually. Like, I don't know you. Why are you grabbing my arms? Bum bum bum. Okay, get, go, leave. It was very sad what just happened there. Not really, but, you know. All you can be grateful for is that Grace didn't get to see that because she would never leave you alone, Gabriel. Bum 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 bum. All right, so that was cool. I don't see anything else new. I think we pretty much just need to get out of here. I don't think we can. A we can't ask him about Getty either. Their last name is pretty close to that. Uh, just like Master of Death Lois, that's interesting too. Alright, so. Let's 
let's go to, actually uh, let's save it please select the desk I need to save it so chill out me we sold dad's painting here we sold that way I'll know like if I need to look at that painting more closely I can go back to a previous scene now let's go to the historical museum Hello, Dr. Buzz off, strange but sexy Glad you could man. return to us, Mr. Knight. I mean, I guess if you like a guy with a lot of hair gel and two-tone hair and who wears a trench coat in the middle of summer in the South. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can ask him any questions. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Oh, terrifying. Okay. Oh, we can ask about Malia Getty now. We already asked about this. We asked about this but Malia Getty's. Name. Do you know Malia Getty? Should I? Yeah, you she should. referred me to your museum. Many have read about our museum in the newspapers, Mr. Knight. That's a good point. Okay. Do you know anything about Vevez? I believe they have something to do with Haitian voodoo, but that is not really my area. Hmm. Alright. How about animal masks? Do you know anything about animal masks? I used to have some antique African totem masks, but they were on the point of disintegration, so I removed them. Oh, he removed them, did he? Alright. Um, we already asked about this. Asked about this. We asked about this stuff. I mean, this one we hadn't, but. Tell me more about. I've given you as much de. Okay, we need to, then we need to get out of here. We already asked him. So where's the? Professor Hartridge said that in Vudan, a small ritual coffin is called a sikke module. Okay, let's. Can we open it up. Can we look at it. Ooh, we're gonna open it up. Yeah, it's a lot of topics. This is a Seke Madule, isn't it? A small ritual coffin. I am not familiar with that terminology. How could you really? not be? I find that odd. You may find it odd if you wish, Mr. Knight. He doesn't know that much about voodoo for running a voodoo museum. Alright, uh we didn't do anything else. The little coffin is empty. So he runs the Voodoo Museum, but he doesn't know that much about it. Hmm. Dang. I've always wanted a skeleton. Alright, so we did that. I don't know what that's gonna do, but we opened and closed it. I that guess. doesn't the doorway is already open. We just left the door open in this heat? Sorry, buddy. Goodbye, Dr. Your... John. Bill's gonna be high Come and your back again. This guy's hiding a lot because he does not know, like, he, he should know that. He runs a voodoo museum. How many people run a voodoo museum? Not many. So much shade by all parties. Everything is a trap. It is. Hi. Uh-huh. Let's see if we can talk to him about anything new. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Whatever, man. First of all, I found out what Cabri Sans Corps means. Yes. How did exactly. you know about human sacrifice? How did sacrifice? you know, sir? I never said those words, monsieur. You must have heard them from someone else. No, we definitely heard them from you. Do you know anything about Veves? No, sir. Never heard of them. How come all these people can practice voodoo and be involved in the business and not understand anything about it? It's important that I talk to Madame Kazonu. You see, I'm doing some research and... I can't tell you anything about her. Let's go to the police station again. 
I wonder if we can get our police buddy to look up her info. Her address should be in there. It's a phone book. It has name and address. Phone number. That's the whole point. Hey, hey, hey. Night, I had a feeling you'd show up. Bum, bum, bum. They're all lying to you, says Lazy Panda. They know you're looking for the truth. Must force it out of them before they spring traps on you. Probably. Alright, can I get him to... I have this. That's nice, but I'm busy with the real investigation, Knight. Alright, we need to tell him... I mean, I don't know what we need to tell him, but we need to tell him something, because he's on the wrong track. He's really on the wrong track. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Do you know anything about veves? What? Veves. They're ritualistic patterns used in voodoo. You know, like those marks we found around the body. You know what the department says about that night. That voodoo stuff is faked. The You're well says they're wrong. wrong. These veves. Look, just stop worrying about them marks. I don't think they're relevant. Oh, really? Gosh. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Gaul? means hell no is that french my mother spoke it but i always had a hard enough time just speaking english true enough <sighs> Great. Case what's status. the status on the voodoo murders case i told you it's we going say status in the u.s not status revealing your british ancestry there <laughs> or at least <laughs> at least the british voice actor <laughs> all right uh okay Is there anything on here that I need? What's this over here? Mosley's office looks up. Mosley. Mosley's office. Looks a lot like his room in college. A mess. Logs of. Alright. Hey, Bumblebee Bat. How you doing? Good evening to you. I'll let you get back to it. Ciao, baby. Hang on. Do we need that suit? Because we have the shirt for, for pretending to be a priest, but we don't have the... Okay, let's see if we can... Pinch it. It's not Gabriel size or style. Okay, then I guess not. Maybe another time. How are you doing this evening, but we'll be back? Well, I'll be seeing you later, night. Later, gator. Get it? Because you got a gator mask. Can we give this to, can we, can she help us with this? Can you tell me anything about this? Nope. Hmm. Abra should go to the counter. He's not gonna acknowledge me. I get no acknowledgement from him. None at all. Getting off work, you're tired. Well, at least you're getting off work. You're not going into work tired. You're just leaving tired. Which seems to be the way of work, but hopefully we'll get some good rest. Alright, so we don't have any more here. Hey, Trentus! Thank you for being a friend. How you doing? Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. All right, so we have these. We've seen these. There seems to be a pattern, but if there is a pattern, it's smeared. There's only one small area that's clearly defined. You already got this earlier, but I just want to check. The Tired? grass has a yeah. matted appearance there. Yeah, I've been... I'm tired, too. I had a long day out today and I was out in the sun a lot, which feels good, but also, I don't know, just about being out in the sun and doing this, the outside stuff, it just make, it just saps my energy. Like, I feel like I'm going to sleep good tonight, but I'm definitely worn out. Alright, so... We need to take a look at that snake in, the, in Jackson Square. Yeah, the sun. I mean, I feel like I feel better in the summertime. Like I just feel, in general, like I have more energy. When you're, I was outside for four hours today um, at the 
end of my day doing stuff with my gardening stuff like I need to mulch a bunch of stuff so that definitely makes me tired like in a good way like not like in a tired a grumpy tired but just like in a my muscles are all tired hey cheddar man Chen is a vampire <laughs> no not the sun blah 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 Which is weird because it gives the body of vitamin D, which is supposed to give you energy, but it always makes me tired. Well, be careful, Trinus, because sensitivity to sunlight is a sign of a. Which I'm, I don't want to make a hypochondriac, but it's a sign of having um, autoimmune disorder. Is the game way louder than me? It's gonna yeah, tell me these things. Thank you for telling me. Oops. Well, let's try to capture my mouse. How are you doing, Chairman? Alright, I'm going to down the game a little bit. Is that better? I'm already, I should already be up all the way I am. Keep, uh... Also, I've been having a problem. I realized after watching my last VOD that the, um, that the game sound was, like, way off of the actual game, and it's not a problem with my computer or Twitch. I think it's a problem with OBS, because I saw it I saw it reported a couple of times, but no one knows how to solve it. It's like, your game volume delays, just on the game, not on the streamer, like, s so many seconds per hour, so basically by the time I'm done, like, it's way off. I don't know, no one knows how to fix it, though, and OBS Studio is kind of being like, well, are you sure it's not not OBS? It's like, no, I think it's OBS. I'm doing well, sure, man. I'm not. It's supposed to rain tonight, tomorrow, <laughs> uh, Sunday. They're pretty hard, which is a bummer because I'm supposed to go to a conference. I was actually really excited about it because um, it's on the harbor, but uh, I'm going to be pouring down rain. Yeah, I'm on OBS Studio, Cheddar Man. I'm on that OBS Studio stuff. All right, let's go back to St. George's Bookstore, Bookshop bookstore. Hey, Grace. Here I am. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. It's killing me. Did you do that research for me? Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Can you guys hear the dialogue okay? Could you do some? Sure. What? Oh. I can't think of okay. I want to know if she did that research for us. Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. Yeah, it just slowly gets desynced over time. I couldn't figure it was happening at first. And I think you guys had told me about it before, but I thought I fixed it. And when I uh, googled the problem... Um, there are lots of people, well, by lots, there were at least 10 people talking about it on the uh, OBS Studio forums. But everyone's like, well, let's look at your log. Well, but everyone said they had the same issue. It just slowly, yeah, desyncs over time. So I don't know. It may, I mean, to be fair, it may not be. It may be something else, but I can't figure out what it is. I'm hearing everything accurately. If it was all being delayed, you, if it was being delayed at Twitch, then my voice would be delayed with everything else, but it's not. I'm on time. The game is behind. All right, let's call this lady again. It's maybe a bit quiet. I'll punch it up later. Well, actually, I can punch it up now. Hang on. We'll just keep that dial tone sound on. Okay. Uh, no, it's up. It's up as high as it can go. Is it the music? Like, cause I, somebody was saying that the music was a little bit quiet, like they couldn't hear it. So I turned it up. Oh, come on game. Deselect my mouse. So I don't know. Turn it up a little bit. It's a little bit, a little bit. Oh, let's see. Ah. All right, let's play this puppy. Let's play this puppy. Yeah, I don't, it might be a DOS box problem, Trinus. Trinus says, hmm, it's perhaps DOS box causing issues with OBS that would cause the game to desync while your voice would stay good. I did turn the game down earlier. I just turned it up a little bit. Now is it too loud? 
Never mind. One, two, eight, oh. No, she's done talking to me. I talked to her three times and she's irritated with me now. There's nothing else we need here, right? Bum 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 bum. All right, so let's go check out Grandma's house now. We haven't been there lately. See you later. Have fun. He's doing this with his hair. His two-tone hair that comes from using what's this stuff? That spray stuff that's terrible for your hair. You can use it to put like sun in or something. It's literally just spraying bleach on the top of your head. You can go out in the sun and it just makes it this hey, orange Mama. color. How nice to see you. It's like he did that and his sides of the back nice of his hair are dark. Too, Make yourself at home, son. Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses with Granny. Is there anything we can talk to her about? Hmm. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? I don't know if it does do it, but I could check. I automatically starts up in DOSBox because I, I bought it from GOG. All right. Ooh, let's ask about Wolf Green and Ritter. Do you know anyone named Wolfgang Ritter? As I said, your granddad's surname was originally Ritter. I never learned much about his family, but from things he said, I always thought he had a brother back in Germany. A German brother named Wolfgang is related to your granddad or not. Hmm. Do you know anyone? I don't know what else to tell you, dear. Why aren't we telling her that we call he called us? I think that's important. Um. Can we talk about everyone else? Do you know anything about Veves? What, dear? Never mind. Hmm. All right. Do you think the scum problem might solve a zooid? It might, if we ran on scum. Though I think it's too late to do that. I'm going up the attic again. Because I don't know if Enjoy scum would recognize yourself, the dear. saves. I noticed there's a little bit of a scratchiness with the dialogue stuff. Alright, we looked up here, but now is there is there do we recognize more? Like why did we look in here before and we didn't take anything? The trunk contains some old clothes. Including a pair of leather shorts. Aren't those called lederhosen? Lederhosen. Hiking boots. More of Harrison Knight German book. Just what I need. And a bundle of letters. Love letters between Harrison and Rebecca. But we can't take any of these items. Hi, Awkward Aardvark. Awkward Aardvark says saves are not compatible. Thank you for telling me that because that's very helpful. We take any of this stuff? I don't think there's anything in that trunk that would interest anybody. Can we move it, maybe? Can we, like... It looks pretty heavy. Fine. So why did we look Gabriel's in there? Gabriel's not quite... Gabriel's not... Why did we... I don't know why it keeps telling us about what's in there if we can't take any of it. That's very aggravating. All right. Is there anything in here that we can take? Granny's knitting. Hmm. So we know there's just that well, lady Gran, who's dancing with the boa constrictor, or actually oh, without the boa constrictor. I think we need to compare um, the scale and see if it's the same. Anyways, let me know. Basically, let me know if the sound on the game becomes desynced significantly because what I'll do is I'll save the game and I'll I'll restart it I'll restart the game and see if that helps sync it back up all right so all right let's we know it let's go look up here I haven't removed the game capture source and start a new one I heard about I think Somebody said something about it, I don't know, probably 10 or 15 streams ago, and I thought I fixed it, but then no one was saying anything about it, but I noticed it when I was 
making the highlight, and I'm like, what? Oh no. Four pairs of binoculars. Uh, no, I want to operate it. I want to see what's on here. Okay, so you got this juggling guy. We got that guy who already talked to you. And let's look over here. Nobody is coming over to get their palm read. There's no line for that. That's it. She's not gonna... Hmm. So she gets up and moves around. We just need to look at that boa. Like, I would like to get a look at that boa constrictor and see... If it looks the same or not. Hmm. The last couple times in the puzzles for this area, it's been about leading other people around. Let me out! Let me out, 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 out, out. Let me get out. There is. Okay, can, there, is there it is. Okay, fine, game. Whatever, whatever, game. Oh, oh, oh! We also did not go to the Moonbeam residence, which I need to go to. And say, tell me about babies. Why wouldn't you tell me about those before? I had a feeling you'd be back. Really? Boy, you are amazing. What can we ask her about? Oh, boy. Please, be seated. Sorry, I've got a weird twitch in my hand. I don't know if you forget that every once in a while. Where, like, a muscle in your hand just twitches for no reason. It's like, how? Sometimes I get that with my eye when I'm really tired, when my eyelids will twitch, and I'm like, this is driving me nuts. Could I ask you a few questions? Just a few small, a tiny, incriminating questions. Alright, let's ask about Veve. Do you know anything about Veves? I don't know anything about that. How could you not? Okay. Was cool. Uh, about Grimwald. What about her? Uh, tell me anything tell at all. Tell me anything at all. Well, you have to be careful when handling a snake. They're more delicate than they look. I'll bet. Okay. Nothing. Oh. All right. I thought there'd be more because I thought we had more to talk about. Like I don't understand. Okay, I found out. Do you have any idea what Gabrice and Gaul means? Uh, no. No, I don't. That's not true, because she must know it means human sacrifice. Okay. Give me an example of it. Alright. Okay, never mind. I don't want Gree Gree. We've already heard all of those. Alright, so not helpful at all. I thought we'd she'd actually open up to talking. She's very, like, weird about this whole situation. Like, she's gotta know well, I guess I'll be going what Cabri Sancor means, because it means goat without horns, which means human sacrifice. Peace and harmony be yours. Even right. if she obviously doesn't participate in it, or maybe she does, maybe she's the villain in here, she should know what it means. Alright, let's go back here and see if I can figure out. The Jackson Square puzzles are always the hardest for me. Um, they're, it's not that they're bad puzzles because they're not but it's because you move so slow and because it's hard to tell where the game's going with things I don't know what to do what was that Snyder mark <laughs> I'll bet remark about handling snakes it was a dirty joke Cheddar man because he's a dirty dirty man and all he can do is hit on women and and make innuendos <laughs> Like, anything you say to this man, he's going to raise his eyebrow and be like, oh. All right, let's see if she starts dancing again. Come on, boys. Hoopla. So we're the common denominator. She starts, like, where did she put that snake at? That, she just, where's it gone? It's, it's over here. Hey, Glitch. Hey. How you doing? Bum, bum. Okay, she's like, she's dancing like a whirlwind. Can we pick up? Gabriel doesn't want it. Gabriel does Where is the snake? Jackson Square. The boot is, the owner is currently. Okay, how do we, all right. 
I need to get. Where's the snake at? There is nothing. She just put him down behind her booth. It's been a long day. Everyone's tired tonight. I'm tired tonight. Were you out in the sun a lot today, Glitch? Thanks, boys. Okay, thanks, boys, she says. Game's going really well. I'm on day three. I got through a bunch of stuff. I'm really... The plot's starting to come together. Come on, boys. Which I enjoy. Hoopla. Because it's the plot's very good. So far, so good. I shouldn't... I'm saying because too much, but... Wait, is that it? Oh, hang on. There's like a tiny bit of patch of green. Is that it? Right here? Jackson Square. No, that's just a piece of Jackson Square. Sorry, the hiccups. It's been a little bit chilly today, but it, the sun was out for a long time. It's gonna rain all weekend long. Of course, I'm going out of town, so I'm like, why are you, why is it Baby raining? Doesn't. I wanted to walk around. That doesn't seem to. She's. I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay. is at the dancer, but she seems to want a more overt demonstration of his appreciation. Oh. Okay. So she wants him to come over. Maybe she'll be more willing to let us look. Maybe did she put the snake in her dress? Like I'm very confused what happens to the snake. Thanks, boys. Does she want like a gift or does she want me to start dancing with her? What does she want want us to do? Thanks for the clue, game. Come on, boys. Hoopla. That voice is so I don't know. I guess the word would be grating, maybe? Alright, can we dance with her? Okay, um... How do we dance with someone? Do we grab them? Oh, we're supposed to dance with her. Not a bad idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh baby, I love the way you Gabriel Knight. Madame Lorelei winks knowingly at Gabriel and twitches her hip. Yep, she wants me. Oh gosh. She's okay. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, that music cut off a little quick. <sighs> okay, what's this? The veil belonged to the fortune teller. It's covered with shiny, iridescent sequins. Are they sequins or are they snake scales? Let's get out our... Let's get out our detective... Our detective uh, magnifying glass and find out. Yep. A very suave man, <laughs> says CP. Gabriel examines the veil with a magnifying glass. Ooh. Um. No, I want to. Uh, what's that right there? That sequin looks a little strange. Why, it's a snake scale. Can I get the tweezers? Uh, I can't hack. Ah, I, what can I do? All right, I guess I can use. Can I use the tweezers on it? We'll compare to the scales. Gabriel casually Just... uses the tweezers to remove the snake scale from the veil. Um, I guess they're not the same. Those two objects. All right. Well, I guess let's look at it. I don't know. How are we gonna compare? Ever since we saw the little Easter egg about um, Laura Bow, I'm like slipping into the voice I gave her. How are we gonna do this, Gabriel? I went to Tulane University and I know all Those about it. Object. Where's the uh, magnifying glass? The other thing. Yep. Gabriel magnifies the scale from the fortune teller. The iridescent scale is hued olive green. It doesn't seem to match the scale from Lake Pontchartrain. 
Okay. Do we need to give this back to her? I feel like I we think do. This veil belongs we to do. you. Huh. My veil. I'm always losing those things. You have no idea. Well, darling, you're such a sweetie to return a lady's <laughs> delicates and so <laughs> handsome as well. Well, I... And since you have such a clear interest in fortune telling, let me see your hands. They look so strong. <laughs> She's just so gross. Perhaps they will make both our fortunes clear. <laughs> no? I wish something would. Hmm. Strong. Yes, no. Yet so. This scene's gonna last for like ten minutes, no. isn't it? Flexible. <sighs> you don't know the half of it. Oh, good. I see a mysterious woman in your immediate future. She's gonna try and murder Madame you. Madame Lorelai winks at Gabriel knowingly. She is a We didn't need the narrator to say that. We knew what's going on. And beautiful. Ah, I see the road of your life, folk. <laughs> and very soon, <laughs> the blood drains from Madame Lorelai's face in an instant. Uh oh. Sweat beads on her upper lip. Are you okay? No. Oh, oh God! Beware! Beware! <laughs> narrator must narrate all aspects. <laughs> this is lazy. That what was. Is it about me lately? That's not great. Is there anything we can we can open this up or anything? That doesn't seem to. Let's see what's going on here. Gabriel would not mind picking up a few extra bucks by using Madame Lorelai's boot <laughs> while she's gone. But he doesn't know how to belly dance. Okay, so he basically got a warning. Which is not great. Is she over here so we can ask her? Okay, come on. Nope, she's not. Is she down here? I have to check all four quadrants, guys, just in case. <laughs> Lazy Panda says, Gabriel attracts them unnatural forces. He don't scared off the ladies. I guess he has. All right, last one. What was that about? Nothing, I guess. Nothing. Okay, nothing new over here. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, he walks so slow. Gabriel Knight, if you're dehydrated, get a Gatorade. And she, wow, she really just left her whole dealio there. Let's go up to the church and see. So we know we've eliminated her as a suspect, or at least as involved. Not that we knew who she was. Um... We still have to get a scale from that snake in, in the voodoo museum. I don't know how we're going to do that. I have a feeling that's the right snake since um, we've uh, not been able to get a scale from him. Can we do, can we do this? There's no... There's no reason to? I kind of think there is. Can we go in? Gabriel cannot go in there. Oi. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to. Uh, I guess we'll walk through here again. So we learned like a ton about, um, the probable cause, just like with the practitioner that walks fast, we're holding out Alt F12. That's not what happens, is it? Didn't that shut down the game? <laughs> I'm so gullible, awkward artwork. I have to be careful. I'm like, ah! Actually, let's be on save it. We did a lot of stuff. Let's do. Three. 13. Save. Okay, so it's going back home. 
Let's see if we got any phone messages because we don't have a cell phone, obviously. I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Oh boy, party time! Really, awkward work. That's cool. I'll have to try that. All right. So, what can we talk to her about? All four F four V the shutdown. One of them, um, it must be uh, Control F nine shuts it down too because. Control um, F10 releases the mouse in DOSBox. And um, I guess no, it's Alt F F9. Or F10 releases the the mouse, but Alt F9 shuts it down. I've done that a couple of times when I was in a hurry. Press the wrong F. Please. Okay, so. Any messages? Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Messages? Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. Alright, so... Nobody's called us. Let's go out to the mansion and see if we can get in again. Try and talk to Miss Giddy again. I've got some things I need to do. Don't hurry back on my account. <laughs> I love how Grace is just like, whatever, dude. Investigate the murder, don't investigate the murder. I got bookkeeping to do. Let's knock on the door. Let my love open the door. Let my love open the door to your heart. Oh, it's you. Miss Giddy is not a Tim Curry talking to Tim Curry. Can you tell me where she is? It's very important. She's visiting her mother's grave, Mr. Knight. Something even you can't be tasteless enough to want to interrupt. We were just there, man. We were just there. And we sent her away crying. Which is apparently the best way to send somebody away. Alright, let's go check. We'll check this again, but we, we were there. Bum bum. Grace's voice is Lee Remini, who did the Scientology expose. Yes, and she was also on um, King of Queens for a long time. She's been on the Match Game recently, which is a hilarious show that gets very inappropriate sometimes. <laughs> and you can watch it on NBC or Hulu Plus. She's on there, and she's funny on that too. Alright, um, so we were here. How come she can leave that way and we can't? There's no key or anything. I don't see anything like sparkling or shining. To the east there is only the back wall of the cemetery. Alright, so... I feel like this angel is looking at something. Do you see this? It just seems like... Another angel. Another it's like the angels. A stoned angel leans down to gaze at something unseen. Dang it, guys, man. We don't see anything. So we don't see any, like, glittering key or anything. We're going to need that key to that tomb at some point. I don't know how we're getting it, but we're going to need it. Hmm. Do you need spare keys to the tombs, dude? Alright, so... Hmm. I guess just keep going around until we figure out to shake something loose. I really want that lady's address, and I felt like we got it. Although I guess it could be one of the other numbers. Like she said, she said, like I have no idea. Can I ask you what? Whatever, man. It's important that I talk to Madame. I can't tell you. Ah. 
Do you know I've already I told you everything I know. Okay. So no new info from this guy. Hmm. I guess go home and try to call some of the other numbers. Like, just see if one of the other numbers that there's, like, the first one was a pizza place that was wrong. Maybe there's something else going on. Yes, uh -huh. Really? I forgot you were gone. Hmm. What can we do, guys? All right, let's try and do this again. Though I feel like we should have her address because we know kind of what her number is. Let's try five five one two seven zero. Oh. Hello. Hi. Sorry to bother you again, but I was wondering if you know anything about voodoo. I don't believe this. Buzz off, guy. Buzz off, guy. You're not cool. I'm through being cool. I'm through being cool. Okay. Gabriel's bed. That looks like. I don't know. It's an interesting book right there. All my clothes look the same, so why change them? Gabriel might as well. Hi, this is Ray Bob Gilmy saying, come on down to Gilmy Auto Center for the best deals in new and used transportation. You'll be glad you did. The problem is the tires won't fall off in the parking lot. No guarantee after the parking lot. Hmm. What else can I do, guys? So... Just look at this again. There's nothing in here that tells me. Yeah, it doesn't give me any addresses. Otherwise, I would just go to these addresses. Hmm. I narrowed it down, but I. Leah's. Or not Leah. <laughs> I mean, Grace is not going to help me. The letter. Oh, Schloss letter. Okay. The letter is addressed. One okay. of the reoccurring word. Mm. The only thing that Gabriel We didn't ask about the the Schattenjäger. Could we ask about that? I wonder if we could go and ask. Let's see. Do you have men problems? Someone put a hex on you? Call Sister Cross through the power of love and Lord Jesus Christ, she can fix my daily. Alright, let's go. What's this number again? Oops. The number written on the note is four nine zero nine zero nine three two four three 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 three. Okay. Let's see if we let's see if we can ask him about the Schattenjager. All right, so it's four nine oh nine three two four. No, I can't afford to call Germany again till I figure more of this out. <sighs> wow, I didn't. In New Orleans. I didn't know he would cut me off. He's like, I'm not paying for another call. Collect. Call collect and have him call you back. So why can't we get? Hmm. Let's get some coffee in us. The coffee has already been made. Well, let's take some then, I guess. What else can we do? We've already been. We gotta go. We could go back to the tavern, but the tavern hasn't been useful since the first day. Oh yeah, collect was a thing back then, wasn't mm, it? Yeah. Good coffee. If you were, if you were really cheap. You'd call the person collect and they'd say, they'd say like, we're going to record your name or whatever they'd say like, and then you'd be like, I got home safe. Bye. And they'd be like, do you want to accept a call from, I got home safe. Bye. And you'd say no. 1-800-COLLECT. Save a buck or two or three. 
Ashen, so many comments about telephone communication methods thanks to this game. Well, I guess it's 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 something you don't think about. You just slowly forget about how to use that in your mind. I've the only place I use I need to do. like a handheld like a handset phone is for like office buildings and stuff for like calling people in a work situation not for in my personal life I don't even have a landline I mean, it doesn't cost me any I don't I have one of those like I don't get charged minutes it's like unlimited basically all right long distance local doesn't make a difference yeah landline that's work only yeah that's the only place you would use it Okay, so let's go back to the Napoleon house. Did anyone use those hint lines for adventure games back in the day? Ashen? I would have been in so much trouble if I did that because the charges would have shown up on the... I, like... Um, no, I would have been in so much trouble. There's no way I asked my parents, like, um, for money for that. That's hilarious, though. Hmm. Can we show this to these guys? Will they know what this is? Does this mean anything to you? Yeah, get away from me with her, will ya? Did you, Ashton? Did you ever use those hint lines? Like the Nintendo hint line? Does this mean anything to you? Not really. Hmm. We'll just go to the guy who's really angry about his life. Does this mean anything to you? She knows. No. Now be. <laughs> oh, it was for King's Quest? CP says, I had a friend who did, but he got in trouble with his parents when they saw the charges. I bet. I think it was for King's Quest. Oh, those games are tough sometimes. And pre, like, internet, you couldn't just Google the answer. I got stuck on, um... Oh, I'm gonna blank out on the number, but it's the one where pr it's the second one where Princess Rosella is there, and her, it's like you switch back and forth between her and her mom Valencia, and there's like trolls and stuff. But there's a part, and I, this is why I never finished this game when I was playing when I first bought it as a kid. There's a part where a cave is supposed to give you a clue, but for some reason the sound card of my computer, the cave sound came out like. Oh. And it didn't say anything, and it didn't have the option of putting text up, so I couldn't get that clue. I literally didn't know, like, what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Ashton says, my dad and I would. I would be lookout, and he would call, so my mom wouldn't know until she saw the 99 cents per minute on her phone bill. I think it was Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist, that ate up the most of my mom's money. <laughs> I played that game. Bastard. The yeah, one so uh, puzzle in that with the f sacks of flour and the board was like ridiculous. Pre-internet days were the dark ages of information sharing compared to now. Yeah, you, you like would had to send away for stuff like oh, I want to I want to be part of the zine about my favorite TV show or about like monarch butterflies. I'm gonna send them money and they're gonna send me this little zine about it. Alright, let's see if he knows anything. Does this mean anything to you? Can't say that it does. Oh, I want Checkmate! Again. Son of a bitch. I wonder if I can give him this gambling oil and that'll Horse flatulence killed us for the longest time. Horse flatulence yeah, that was that was a terrible scourge as well. Plus there's a puzzle there that involves you understanding what, um, like what a, what a, what an old timey, um, lady of the night would need from a pharmacist, like in a way that like a kid would probably never know. Now let's, let's give him the gambling oil and see if he'll help us then. Got yes! Second, Sam. It's about your game. I don't have a game. That's my problem. Don't you touch those chess pieces while I'm gone, you bastard. I never needed a cheat yet, you loser. Yes, horse flashlance now. Yes, getting this done. Thought you might be interested in this gambling oil. Let me see that. Master gambling oil. What's it for? 
It might be a good salad dressing. Never mind. I probably, I would say it's a powerful voodoo oil. This is a powerful voodoo oil. Ah, go on. Really? <laughs> this voodoo oil can make a nun get lucky? It's terrible. Ever wonder why Marcus wins every time? Don't you ever wonder why Marcus Now we're playing the psych game, time. guys. We're getting in his head. Marcus? Using voodoo? That old bastard. Pitiful, isn't it? Uh, let me see that bottle. Supposed to oh, this don't looks drink authentic. it. Oh, it is. If I could really beat that bastard. <laughs> Stonewall, give me a Pim's cup, would you? Come on, is he going to drink it? I don't think you're supposed to drink it, are you? How much you think I'd have put in here? Careful. You don't want to overdo it. Too much. Thank you for being a friend, Shrimpy. Oh, he is drinking the oil. We'll see about that misty, smutty big mouth. Thanks for being a friend. Checkmate. <laughs> Checkmate, you bastard. Son of a bitch. Twenty years I've been waiting to say that. Checkmate, checkmate, checkmate. <laughs> You are the biggest butthead Sam Singleton that I ever met. Butthead. Checkmate. <laughs> you, you, you can just put this chessboard where the sun don't shine. <laughs> Hallelujah, I did it. Yippee. Nice game. Nice game. Hell, I was brilliant. Of course, I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. You've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, you come to Sam here. We need a favor, Sam, right now. And thank you for being a friend. Thank you for the host, Walter World Games. Thank you for the host and bringing friends. 20 years playing the same game, that's dedication. Yes, they were frenemies. Alright, what can he tell us about anything? Um, maybe he can tell us something about this. Does this mean anything to you? Plus we can also ask him questions. Not really. Alright, let's ask him questions. I forgot. We've never gotten to ask him any questions at all. Can I ask you some questions now? Look, I'd be glad to help you out, but I've been stuck in this bot too long to know much about anything. So what do we need him for? We need him for something. Oh, let's maybe this. Does this mean anything to you? Probably not. Not really. Alright. What was that whole rigmarole? It's because he knows something about something. Um Maybe this? Does this mean anything to you? Not really. What so he knows a little bit about voodoo or not. What is Sam This is the last Okay, so we've got a snake skin. Oh, maybe he knows a lot about snakes. Let's let's show him this. Does this mean anything to you? Not really. Gosh, we're carrying around all this weird stuff. I have a snake skin and I have a snake scale and I have all this other stuff. Alright, so this is not relevant. This is not relevant. Hmm. It's a flashlight. What can he help us with, guys? Oh, we can show him the journal, maybe. Does this mean anything to you? Not really. Let me go back and listen to the bartender's tape and see what he said about Sam. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? Well, about 50 years ago, Sam was too shy to talk to this pretty girl. He went to a voodoo and had okay. her make him a... Well, he buried the pouch. Now she's his wife. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? That's about all I can remember. So that's why I thought Sam would know something about voodoo, but he doesn't want to talk to me. Well, let's do this. We'll do this. Huh? So how do you feel now? Couldn't be better. All right. So what? 
Does this mean anything to you? Not really. <laughs> Ashton says, so many times I've thought this is not relevant in adventure games, and they've showed me that someone's imagination is about to prove me wrong. <laughs> That's true. Okay, this is a letter from a German guy. This is a phone number from the German guy. The snake scale. This is the this is the secret language you found written on the wall. Mm, okay, so we don't know. Maybe we don't know what we need yet. This looks like a snake ter terrarium over here, but I don't think it is. Now let's ask this guy. Could I ask you a few questions? Sure. Um, bar patrons. What can you? That's about all I can. Uh, street musicians. Tell me about the street musicians around here. Don't know what else I could say. Uh, ask for Veve. Do you know anything about Veves? Never heard of it. Hmm. And he's not gonna let me. Can I ask you some questions now? Look, I'd be glad to help you out, but I've been. Okay, is there anything over here on the table that we need to look at? The Napoleon house. Okay, let's, what is this here? What do I need? What is this here? That belongs to the Nap Oh, is that like a cup or something? Oh, okay. That tabletop has an... The Napoleon house. Hmm. Alright, so that wasn't helpful. I mean, it was... But I don't know. We're going to need him for something later, I guess. Because we haven't found anything now that we need him for. But I'm excited that I figured out how to use... Look, we're 132 out of 342, so that's good. Hmm. So... Let's go back home, I guess. Lucy, I'm uh, home. I wish you wouldn't wear that coat outside in June. I could smell you from here. Yeah, pretty much. It's the summertime, man. Okay, so... You know what? We should have shown this to Sam. Do you know anything about this? No. Sorry. Mm. I wish we could ask about... I've got some things I need to do. Have fun. She's like, I don't care. See you later. Alright, so let's go back. Since we did all this stuff in Napoleon House, let's go back and see. I didn't ask him about everything. Unfortunately. So let's see. What about this? Does this mean anything to you? Not really. Not really. It doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Have we, tr have we tried this? Does this mean anything to you? Not really. Hmm. So what would? This picture wouldn't mean anything, would it? Does this mean anything to you? Not really. All right, and we've already talked to these yahoos, right? It's getting cold in here, guys. I'm getting cold. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. You want to know my son? Uh, on second thought, I don't think you could help. Forget it. I'm really shocked that he's kind of turning her down, considering how flirtatious he's been with everyone else. All right, so... We sort of got we got some stuff done. I just don't know what to do with Sam right now. We may we may not be able to go out with him, go out with him, go to him until a different day. Let's go to the historical video museum. Hello, Doctor John. Glad you could return to us, Mister Knight. Yeah, suddenly he gets cheesy. Maybe he already knows her, and he's like, eh. Can I show him this? What do you think of my crocodile mask? Ooh. Hmm. Nice. That's it? 
I mean, I hate to show him other stuff we've got, but, you know. Does this pattern look familiar to you? Where did you get that? You do recognize it, then. Yes. I have never seen it before in my life. That's not true. Liar! Dr. John didn't seem to trill with the- That's true. He wasn't too excited to see those the first time. Um, what about the snake skin? Dr. John is unlike- We need to get to that snake, but I don't know how. Hmm. Let's show him the gory picture, I guess. I don't know. Could you look at this and tell me if you recognize anything about the ritual? Hmm. This is truly offensive. This is from one of those recent killings, is it not? Mm -hmm. Well, actually... But the police already know that this so-called voodoo ritual is fake. Voodoo is a respectable religion. This kind of thing has nothing to do with voodoo in this city. Fine. Let's say that's true. Are you sure there is nothing about the items in this photo? There is nothing about this sickness that I would identify as voodoo. Nothing. Thanks for okay. looking at Okay. So he's pretty upset about everything. Let's see if we can ask him some questions. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. Malia Getty, we already asked about. Are you sure you don't know Malia Getty? Are you sure you don't know her? Quite sure, Mr. Knight. Hmm. You're sh I am. Alright, so. Do you know it? I believe that. Okay. What can you. Historical voodoo? Okay, voodoo. What makes you think the voodoo murders aren't being done by local practitioners? Hmm. Voodoo is a popular boogeyman, Mr. Knight. Trying to get a different answer out of him. Anyone can pretend to use it, just as anyone can pretend to be a black belt in karate, and for the same reason, to intimidate. I know voodoo in this city, Mr. Knight, and believe me, it is not about killing. Even the police have stated yeah, the that police the aren't that great. nothing to do with local in this game. Okay. Hmm. Is the snake yours? Ooh. Do you use it in your practice of voodoo? I admire the spirit of this snake, Mr. Knight. But snakes like the museums can be quite dangerous to handle. You didn't really answer my question. I think I did, Mr. Knight. Hmm. <laughs> We've talked about that so much, Ashen. Does Gabriel look a bit like those tougher 80s street cop version of Conan O'Brien in these conversation drawings? He feel it looks like he's he's some of the cast of 90210 and Conan O'Brien merged. Or Conan O'Brien, if they gave him a sexy makeover. He's definitely got 90s cheekbones where they felt like your cheekbones should like jet out. The only thing he's missing is the sideburns. Where's the 90s sideburns, guys? No, yeah, it's been a common theme. Everyone's kind of noticed it. We're all like, huh, Conan. Sexy younger Conan. I guess. <laughs> it's not just you. Alright. So what? Gabriel can't do a t we can't do anything with the drummer on the street? Alright. Is there anything in here that sets off alarm bells? It's really annoying we can't get to the snake. A very large, very formidable looking snake is secured in a plexiglass cage. Okay. Hmm. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Hmm. Alright, come on. You gotta tell us something, Dixieland Drugstore. Hi. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Ashen says, apparently Conan looks a lot like a former female president of Finland as well. At least this time he looks like another guy. <laughs> he, Conan does have this sort of like pale androgynous look. All right, let's let's ask him some questions. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Have we shown him all of our stuff? I don't think we have. All right, let's let's go and let's let's see what he says about this. Really, Walker might not. I guess he might not like the idea of us tracking down his customers. All right, let's go. Let's go with this. Say hey. Do you know anything about these crosses? I think there's some kind of code. Hey, Look, Aaron! He hand tracks to me, man. Moo! Welcome to the stream, Aaron. Let me see what you put up there. Oh, did it, did it like... I can see it. Did it take it off for somebody else? <laughs> uh, yeah, there is a resemblance. I can, I can, I can display it. Hang on. Um... At least I can put it up here. That's hilarious. They even have the same facial expression, which is really funny. I have not seen Conan Bryan's show in a long time. There we go. If you want to look, see what Conan O'Brien looks like and a former president of Finland, then that, you get to see it right there. All right. Um. I don't know, man. See what happens when we give him this. Do you recognize this pattern? Don't look familiar at all, sir. <laughs> okay. What about? See, that doesn't matter. What about this? What kind of thing does this look like? Do you know anything about snake scales? I got some snake root. You don't hate all these snakes? You don't like them at all? Okay, so anything else we learned that... I guess nothing else, but... I need... I want to see that lady. Maybe we can call her now that we've done some different stuff. Maybe the game just wouldn't let us call her. Of course, now I'm going to get her number again because I erased out of the chat. Hello, beautiful. It's me. Oh, joy. <laughs> How you been doing, Aaron? The Creole Grand Dames will hold their annual Gardenia Festival and tea this coming Tuesday at the Sons of Burgundy Hall. Sons of Ron Burgundy? Alright, um, let's look at this again so that I can... Breakfast? Sounds good. Aaron, you always have good breakfast. Um, does anyone actually watch talk shows anymore aside from clips on the internet? I don't know. I do sometimes. It depends on who's on and if I can stay up that late. Okay, wait, hang on. Somewhere that there's some, some city of New Orleans. Okay, it's the... I think it's we decided it was the... I'm glad you're doing good, Aaron. Yeah, I don't know. I liked Craig Ferguson a lot. Awkward Aardvark. Which one is It's like the second one, right? Five. I'll just put them all down. Five, five, five. One, two, seven, oh. Five, five, five. One, two, two, oh. I liked him so much. I didn't realize he quit. What is he doing? Craig Ferguson now. Five 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 one two eight oh Hey Walter World Games, how you doing? One two eight oh five Oh that's five three five what? Five three five Did I not notice that last time? I hope I did, because that's that's it's five three five. Somewhere there's a new eye. Yeah, it's not five five five. All right, I might have typed that number in wrong, guys. What? 
All right, here we go. That's five, three, five, and I think I put five, five. One, two, three, seven. Casino residence, may I help you? Hi. You want a customer raffle at the Dixieland drugstore? No, soliciting, please. <laughs> All right, good. It didn't hurt me that I got that number wrong, but I did. Oh boy. All right, so I think it's the second one. Come here. Five, five, five. One, two, two. Oh. Hello, Casano residents. Hi. I was wondering if you could help me. <laughs> yeah. A woman in the Dixieland drugstore dropped her purse today, and the name Kazanu was inside it. Dixieland drugstore? Never heard of it. Sorry. Oh, just in time to see you dial 909 for a month. Hi, Servo. <laughs> okay, so, oh boy. The third W is silent. <laughs> All right, so let me just try, because they're kind of coming up differently this time, and I wonder if it's because I got some new information. Hello? Hi. Uh, sorry to bother you again, but I was wondering if you know anything about voodoo. I don't believe this. Buzz off, guy. Buzz off, Aldrin. Karelian pies with egg butter mix and coffee is my breakfast. That sounds good. Alright. One, two, three. Okay, so she's mad at me. She's like, no way. Alright. Casino residents, may I help you? I'm calling from the Dixieland drugstore. You've won a prize. Hmm. And I suppose you're a big man. Stop calling me. <laughs> sounds like she sounds so depressed. At Giant Discount Bookstore, we discount. Uh, okay, so none of the numbers work still after all this time. I th There's only one person that speaks like an old lady with a French accent, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, Aaron is finished, Ashen. And she's always talking about breakfast when it's late at night for me or dinner when it's early in the morning for me. And then she always eats very good food. <laughs> the descriptions sound good. Alright. Boom. Alright, how can we... So we gave, we're going to have to wander around and see what else we can do. Got a minute, Grice? What's up? Messages? Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Mm. I can't think of anything. I okay. guess we can go back to Tulane, but the professor hasn't called us. So, I don't know why we'd go back. We could go back and check and irritate him some more and be like, Hey, I know you said uh, it was going to be at least 24 hours, but you know. Try not. Uh huh. But I really want to irritate you, so we're going to go. Here we go. Too lame. Let's irritate this professor to no end. Bum, 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 bum. bum. Mr. Knight, you're back. Oh, goody. Did we ever show him... I don't think we ever showed him the drum beat stuff, either. Did we say, like, does this mean anything to you? Can you tell me anything about this? No, I've never seen those symbols. Therefore, they're probably meaningless. Really? Are you sure? I am never wrong, Mr. Knight. Therefore, sure is not in my vocabulary. Okay, that's annoying. Why do you think you know everything? Let's do this. Is there anything you can tell me about the voodoo aspects of this photograph? 
Hmm, this is serious voodoo and ritual. Nasty stuff. In what way? Let's see. I can't make out much detail from this photograph. Except for the corpse, of course. But the wound, the face. And what little I can see of the ritual paraphernalia. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Reminded me of certain black voodoo and practices. Very rare. I've never witnessed them myself, you understand? Really? Interesting. Thanks. So we're getting... Oh, nice! 134. So we're getting lied to a lot, to be honest. There's a lot of people saying they don't know what stuff is that should darn well know what it is. Can you tell me anything about this? No, I'm afraid I can't. Stop irritating me with your ignorance. Alright, so we showed him that. We showed him this. All right. Can you tell me anything about this? No, I'm afraid I can't. Stop putting that snake skin on my desk. It's gross. Oh, we need to ask him if he knows anything about this thing. He might know what kind of snake it's from. Can you tell me anything about this? No, I'm afraid I can't. Okay. We got the information I think we needed out of him that I didn't Gibber get before. Doesn't need to do that with the door. We just want to leave. That's all. Go. I'll be going. Goodbye. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Lazy. It seems feels like everyone who knows what's going on except you and your hired help. What is what is Grace again? She's like my hired help. Yeah, she works. She does research and she sells my books. But not that anyone buys them. You got another link about them Star Wars pies? Oh yeah. Let me see. Let me put that up. Let me check it out. Wee! Oh, they're like little um. They kind of look like they look like crepes a little bit. Oh no! You then you film and you bake them. Oh, they look really good. All right, I'm gonna let share with everybody else. They look delicious, Aaron. They're basically a rice porridge in a rye shell. Basically, they look good. Do you put like cinnamon sugar on them or anything? Are they like more savory or more sweet? All right, so we got a lot of information from Tulane. Let's see if anything else has changed. Hey, Grace, here I am. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. Okay. Savory, huh? But they're good though. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Rye's not bad. Hi, Tiro DVD. Welcome to the stream. Rye, rye is not bad. I like rye bread a lot. It's good. The rye is to contrast the mild porridge. So to give it more of a contrasting flavor. Alright, messages. Do you have mess Nope. Request research. Sure. None. Okay. I can't think okay. Alright, so if you don't... Oh, oh, black voodoo. Do you know anything about black voodoo? <sighs> black voodoo? No, I should have asked the professor about it, but I didn't know no, I had it on my dialogue it. tree now. Do you? I know there are dark forms of any major religion. Where there's a yin, there's a yang. Speaking of yin and yang... But no. <laughs> I don't know anything really about voodoo, dark or otherwise. Sorry. I'm just here to not sell your books. Okay. Ah, now we have a whole different line of questioning for a bunch of people, including that professor, which I should have asked him about stuff when I was there. I'm out of here. I'm wasting so much Try gas. To sell out the I mean, motorcycles are pretty gas efficient, but man, Please I'm not even select a destination. I'm not even getting mileage from anyone. Like no one's asking me to investigate these murders. I'm not gonna get paid when I figure it out. It's kind of a bummer.
Mr. Knight, you're back. Oh, goody. Well, he gave me more to talk to you about, because you talked about black voodoo, so now i got to ask about that. And if I pick your brain... This is a brand that's made from wheat, will get and you're you not like it as much? My office. Eat some beans, you get plenty of gas. I don't think that's the way it works. Um, human sacrifice. Here we go, black voodoo. Tell me what you mean by black There voodoo. we go. Well, like any religion, the beliefs can tend toward positive or negative ends. Can be used for good or evil. Christianity, for example, has its doppelganger, Satanism. Any time you attempt to set up an icon to explain evil, you invite some warped mind to worship it. The same is true of voodoo. There are those who are drawn by and desire personal power from the darker, bloodier, lower. Okay. But the human sacrifice. Tell me more about human sacrifice. <laughs> I wouldn't dwell on it. Most Vudun sects probably haven't seen a human sacrifice for several generations. <laughs> How creepy is it to be like, tell me more about human sacrifice. It's so creepy. Very creepy. Stop being a creeper, Gabriel. All right. Um, anything else about that? You tell me anything. I told you I would... Sorry, I forgot. All right, so now we have this to ask a bunch of people about, which can make them very uncomfortable. Gabriel doesn't. Ugh. Ah, walk through the door. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> He's like, leave my office. Hey, I brought you inf interesting stuff to research as a professor. Professor, you should be super excited about that. As a professor, you're super, super excited. Until I have a uh, mouth, I am tired disease. All right, so let's ask Miss Moonbeam about it. Let's ask her about bunches of stuff, because we haven't talked to her in a while. Mr. Knight, how nice to see you. My pleasure, I'm sure. Bum, 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 bum. Please be seated. Hmm. Okay, let's ask you some questions. Could I ask you a few questions? Of course, Seeker. I like how she's still calling us Seeker. Do you know anything about babies? I don't know anything about that. That's a lie. Do you know anything about black voodoo? It is the oldest, darkest heart of voodoo. That's it. Let's tell us some more. Do you know anything about black voodoo? There are some things it is better not to know about, Monsieur Knight. Except it's getting people killed, so maybe we should. And that's it. We didn't get any good info out of her. Well, I guess I'll be going now. I guess I'll be leaving. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know Peace if I'll be back yours. again. Right. All right. I see some of those questions are culturally insensitive. Maybe. Let's ask at the Dixieland drugstore. Let's see what they say. This guy never admits to anything. Hi. Uh -huh. He runs this business, but he acts like <gasps> sorry, he acts like he doesn't know anything about voodoo at Can all. I ask you just a few more questions. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Whatever. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Oh, no such thing. I tell you for sure. Hmm. Do you know anything about black voodoo? And ask you again. Black voodoo. Oh, no such thing, I tell you for sure. Hmm. What do you ask him, I think, about? Oh, come on. You have oh. to know about Veve. They're voodoo symbols. Not any kind of voodoo I know about. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, no. Hmm. 
So no more good info from him. Where else can we go? I guess we can go... Oh, you know, we can ask the guy, the Sam guy about Black Voodoo, but I don't think he knows about anything about that. Now that we solved all his problems, man. You do that voodoo, you do so well. <laughs> can I ask you some questions now? Look, I'd be glad to help y'all, but I... Oh, why can't... Well, why don't you help us? Love potion number nine. All right, so why? Does this mean anything to you? Not really. It's just a crocodile head. We see them all the time in New Orleans. Back to the historical voodoo museum. For a guy who's running Hello, a museum, he doesn't, seem, he doesn't seem to know much. Return to us, Mr. Knight. All right. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Here we go. Do you know anything about black? Voodoo. That sort of viewpoint makes my work very difficult, Mr. Knight. I'm not implying that all voodoo is evil, but there are certain practitioners that use voodoo towards a darker end, aren't they? No one that I am familiar with. If there are one or two ignorant believers, that mm. is none of my concern. And I do not care to promote a Hollywood interpretation of voodoo by discussing it. Ooh, he's very grumpy about it. Surface that I too am a strange American and say anything as long as it tastes good and doesn't aggravate my IBS. <laughs> I like trying different foods and different flavors. It's always you cool really to figure out new stuff. About black voodoo practices? I believe I already indicated my intolerance for that line of inquiry. Okay, anything else about himself? Tell me about yourself. What more can I tell you? Just tell me anything. Just tell me anything. You're so fascinating. I am originally from the West Indies myself, you know. Really? What brought you to New Orleans? I was drawn here for personal reasons. Hmm, personal reasons, huh? Actually, I can't. Then. You mean like a girl? What do you mean, personal reasons? Hmm. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Bum bum bum. Alright, so let's, I guess let's go check out Jackson Square again. Something new going on? Ooh, I like, um... You talking about tripe, servo, cow stomach? I thought tripe was okay. I because I never had tripe, but it sounded like a type of fish to me, and that's what I always thought it was. But it's not. It's cow stomach. All right. Let's see. Can this guy help us anymore with anything? Hmm. Here he did this for us. Do we show him this stuff and say, do, can you help us? What would the artist do with that? I guess not. Who's this person? It appears that Madame Lorelei has returned. Oh, well, good. Now we can talk to her about some stuff. Gabriel should get her attention first. How is he going to get her attention? Oh, by just saying, hey! 
You're back. You know, you really freaked me out running off like that. You who? Anybody home? <gasps> Stay away from Maria Getty, or you shall pay for your life. <gasps> what just happened? <gasps> what the hell is going on? What was that, guys? What did she do? Are we okay? Like, did she... She didn't cut us or anything. It, it was crazy. I've had a uh, Vietnamese um, tripe soup. Like, well, their, their pho soup with tripe in it. It's pretty good. Hey, Lazy Panda, bad sh shroom trip. I guess voodoo. I don't know. I found it very confusing. Um. So she just told us that we have to stay away from her. And that's it. And there's no more. Of course, now we have to go find her. That's what I'm like. Oh, I'm supposed to stay away from her? Let's go find her and see what she has to say. I don't see anything. Ugh. The only thing is, I'm like, walk faster, dude. Walk faster. Walk faster. Yes, us. Okay, that's it for that. I feel like this angel's like a clue, but it never is. Yeah, you were telling me um, about blood pancakes, Erin. Which a lot of other countries use blood in like their sausages and their soups and it's like a thickener for gravy sometimes. We just don't do that in the United States. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I also actually like, um, I got this book, this, cause I like cooking a lot and it's a book, cookbook about how to cook different parts of the animal. Because in America we waste a lot of, um, like if you, we don't eat a lot of like a cow, we only eat like certain cuts. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much, Tiro DVD, for the follow. We are really close to 400 followers, guys. And then I can do a really fun 400 follower stream. I have a lot of good ideas. They serve vampire food in schools. Well, um, blood's actually really high in iron, but like we waste so much of the animal. So um, there's all kinds of things that like lots of people eat cow tongue kidneys, all kinds of things we don't eat. Supposedly the organ meats of animals are good for us. I don't know. It just really depends. So much of what we decide is gross or not is but we, what we grew up eating. Alright, so we've got... She doesn't... It's so weird that she's like, stay away. Let's go to the Getty Estate and see if she's back. Is she back? Let's operate the door knocker. Hey! We all 42, 42? Miss Giddy is out. It probably does, but I don't eat spam. Lazy Panda, it probably does get ground up. Actually, the funniest thing is, um... I don't know, like, I don't know. I've been reviewed cow tongue, which is sort of getting gross, but if you slice it up and fry it, it does really taste like a McDonald's hamburger in a lot of ways. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes you wonder, like, are they putting that in McDonald's hamburgers and that's the beef? Um, what's a... 42 for two, what's a Lokanar? Lokanar. Reindeer tongue is eaten in Finland but never, never tried, even though my family raised reindeer for a living and their meat was my main diet for many years. It's, it's a tough, it's a different texture. You have to, like, cook it in a way that otherwise it tastes a little bit. Oh, you cow tongue when you were young. Even snails, even calf brain soup until they found it could cause mad cow. Well, it's because they're worried about you getting mad cow. I actually, guys, I couldn't give blood for about five years because um, when that mad cow came out, because my parents were stationed in Germany in the 80s and 
Um, in the 80s, on base in Germany, they got their beef from the UK. And so they put a moratorium on if you had eaten any, like, um, UK meat from this time to this time. So I can give blood for a while, and they, they removed it as a requirement because they realized, I guess they just sussed it out, like, either you'd be dead by it by now if you had it. Um, but I couldn't, I showed up to give blood in there, and I looked at the, you read through everything, like, like when you can't and I'm like wait I did live in Germany in the 80s <laughs> I guess I can't live give blood sorry oh the, ev the evil green ball from heavy metal shows up absolutely everywhere Maleficent has one too there you go it's the moonbeam residence alright so we this lady got freaked out on us in Jackson Square let's go back in and see if she's still there You have a similar story, Jim, but you were in South Korea, so you couldn't give blood for a while. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was interesting. Are, are you saying meat from the UK isn't okay? Well, that's where um, they had the big outbreaks of mad cow disease, like what in the early two thousands. So um, there was a huge deal about it. Like people died, not not a ton of people, but a couple of people died from it. Um, and there's a big worry, like, they stopped all importing of, like, UK meat to the United States. Like, it was a big deal then. So, yeah, mid-90s or whatever it was. In any case, they just, they decided to, like, moves and runs around madly. No, Aaron, don't get mad cow! Um. I shouldn't say a joke and then say um. I've been saying um on my stream a lot lately, guys. Anyway, I'm starting to get really tired. My brain is, apparently. Is there anything else? Mad cow, still tasty cow. Yeah, it'll be tasty, but then um, it'll eat your brain. So, you know, it's kind of like a zombie cow, I guess. But now, based on movies, eating cow brains can cause zombieism. <laughs> Only if you eat a zombie cow, I guess. What does a zombie cow meat eat? I don't know what a zombie cow meats, but... Alright, so there's nothing new around here other than the, the joggers. They're like every day. And that lady's every day walking around from her office like... Boop, 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 boop. Hmm. Let me save. Should probably go back to the talk to our buddy at the police about. Oh yeah, we haven't talked to our our Mark Hamill at the police station about uh, Black Voodoo yet. And then it's almost time for me to go. No regrets. <laughs> Just gonna go in. Uh, it looks like a. Uh, black lab emote servo. That's my hey, personal thing. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, what is it, you wanker? <laughs> it seems like a personal joke against him since he's from the South, but the voice actor is from the <laughs> Tim Curry's from the England. It's like, is that a personal joke against Tim Curry? From Mark Hamill would stuff. be awesome. You're the writer. Ask away. Do you yeah. know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Sounds like a put on to me. Okay, no, seriously. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Sounds like a put on to me. Put on a what? Put on a sweater? Something else here I have not asked about. Do you know anything about Veves? I told you, I don't think that's relevant. You had a black lab, her name was Shadow, but she passed. Aww. I love labs when they're older, but when they're puppies, they eat everything. They chew up everything. But when they're older, they make really great dogs. Oh gosh, I got something in my eye. Stop by. Well, I'll be seeing you. I'll Ciao, be seeing baby. you later. Let me quick save it. Because it is 12.30, guys. So, thank you so much for for um, showing up to see Gabriel Knight. I'll be back with Gabriel on Monday. Actually, there's no Saturday stream this week because I'm out of town. 
Um, so I won't be here for Saturday night stream, but I will be back on Monday with Gabriel Knight. Tuesday, we're playing through the new uh, King's Quest, so I'm really excited about that. Last week, we played, uh, last week, this past Tuesday we played, it was really fun. Thank you everyone for all the follows and the um, retweets on my Twitter and the hosts. I really appreciate it so much. So yeah, no problem. We're almost to 400. I'm super excited. Oh, Ashton, I'm so glad. Ashton says the chat is lovely. Thank you guys. Thank you all. And I will, I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.